All right, much brew time. Playing some white black exile in standard. We'll try this. Seems reasonable ish. Uh, we'll just lead on shambling vents. Pass the turn. What's our opponent up to? Fetid pools. I. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say new perspective sounds challenging. Just kidding. We have lost legacy. <laughs> oh man. Oh, we randomly hose this deck. Uh, if this is, is it? If this is even that deck, which we don't know, I saw the the scry land and just assumed that it was. Play an ether up. We're gonna wait. I'm not gonna name new perspectives. It's too risky. It's so easy that our opponent could be on something else. And so let's just play our eternal scourge. Once we get some information about our opponent's deck, then we'll, okay, cycling. Well, it looks like something cycling based. We still don't know if it's new perspectives though. Oh, it is, oh, it is. I'm so sorry, opponent, forgive me. <laughs> oh, it's so brutal, it's so brutal. I mean, we gotta do it, that's, I mean, we're playing, <laughs> We're playing main deck Lost Legacy. We can't not. Oh, we can't not actually have new perspectives. I swear to God, ever since we played this deck on, on against the odds, we just crush it every single time we play against it. Oh, man. I almost feel bad about this. <laughs> oh, my God. Poor new perspectives. Running into the... <laughs> Running into the main deck Lost Legacy deck uh, is not the not what you want to see. So we'll get rid of new perspectives. Uh, seems like it should be challenging for our opponent to, to win now. <laughs> you never know, though. Chef at Monitor beatdowns. Vizier beatdowns. They do have their Approach of the Second Sons in hand. And in all honesty, we have a ton of dead creature removal. Is this a Vizier? I guess it's less dead if our opponents actually got to start casting Viziers and so forth. Cycles Vizier. Alright. Not casting Vizier. Opponent plays a land. Cycles Vizier. And passes. Alright, let's just Blighted Fen. I think we just play a Liliana and start taking up. Make a zombie. Mill some random stuff. <laughs> Main deck lost legacy. So good. Maybe it's just like good in our current standard. It seems like it's got to be really bad against Mardu and zombies. Even blue red control. But it does have some matchups where it's, <laughs> where it's insane. <laughs> like new perspectives. Alright, sweltering suns. Rass our board. Plays a land. I mean, I guess it's not impossible that they just get the slow approach of the second sun's win. So make a zombie. Play Blighted Fen. Play Sky Sovereign. And pass the turn. We actually wouldn't mind drawing another Lost Legacy. Because we have two Eternal Scourges in our graveyard now. And getting them in exile would give us a bunch more threats. This deck is so weird. Opponent cycling the chef at monitor. They do have to find white mana for approach. But if they find white mana, they're basically to the first approach next turn. So we do want to try to kill our opponent quickly before they get the the natural approach win. Definitely cycling this cast out at this point. Walking Ballista is some sneaky damage. Well, let's keep taking up our Liliana. Mill some lands. Crew up our Sky Sovereign. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, all right, let's just attack with Sky Sovereign. I think we're just going to Walking Ballista. We could have attacked with a Shambling Vents as well. Whew. Well, I'm glad our opponent cycled the sensor there. Because I could have censored our Walking Ballista. I guess they desperately need the white mana. All right, so Ballista X3. Now with the Cycling... Or the sensors out of our opponent's hand. So walking ballista, play concealed courtyard, pass the turn, and we're presenting lethal. Did our opponent find white mana? Uh, okay, they did. 
They're already down two Viziers, though, so I don't think they can approach this turn. I guess they could have a Fog. Sax. And that's probably game, I would assume. Uh, uh, Alright, opponent, opponent scoops it up. Well, against this deck, I think we want all of our discard. We gotta go down removal. Can probably bring in Scumbles. Maybe Soren, if we have room. Forsake. No fatal pushes. Oh, man. We don't even have enough sideboard cards. No grasps. I guess cast Descend Upon the Sinful is so bad. Oh, we're going to have to play some bad cards, whether we like it or not. Uh-oh. Where did our Descend Upon the Sinfuls go? Oh, dear. How are they gone? We have 15 cards in our sideboard. Oh, it's filtered? Huh. Okay. Never mind. Figured it out. Well... This sounds so bad, but I think we have to leave in Descend Upon the Sinful because it can make a 4-4 four, four for 6. <laughs> uh, we just don't have enough cards. Ruinous Path is dead. Flaying Tendrils, dead. To the Slaughter, dead. Grass pushes, dead weights. Literally dead weight. <laughs> dead. Uh, Fumigate, dead. Uh, yeah? So we gotta bring in one more card still. Which of these horrible cards are best in this matchup fumigate could gain us life i guess to the slaughter kills sphinx i don't know none of them are good and we still have anguish and making at least anguish and making and cast out can hit a new perspectives with the trigger on the stack but it's still they're not they're not good uh this hand yeah i guess it's fine it doesn't do anything but we have scumbles we can scumble into action hopefully uh, so we'll keep it. I got, I swear, new perspectives. It's got to be the weirdest deck in standard. We, like, never lose when we play it, but then we also never lose when we play against it. I haven't played it much recently, though, so I'm sure we would lose if we kept playing it. Oh, my God, there it is. <laughs> oh, sorry you voted. it. Well, they probably brought in some extra win conditions, Drakehaven or something. So, Lost Legacy shouldn't be just 100% game over. Eh, yeah. We're just going to Walking Blist X1 to get something out there. Gives us uh, room in our hand to scumble or succumb without discarding. Pony Cycles. There's a tap land. Uh, play Blighted Fen, I guess. Probably should have played the Plains. Whatever. Get in with Walking Ballista. And, uh, that's an instant. Alright, we'll pass. We'll just pass. Scumble. No reason to get Lost Legacy censored. So good in this matchup that it's not worth risking it. Especially when we have another play. If they want to censor our Succumb to Temptation, that's fine. Although we would like to draw two given the option. There's the sensor. Yep. Oh, man, and we still have emulating glares. We just don't have enough. We just don't have enough. Not enough slots. So get in with Walking Ballista. And pass the turn. We're just going to do the same thing. They still don't have the mana they need to play new perspectives. Well, what's our opponent have? Cycles of Haze. All right. Let's try this again. Succumb number two. Oh, Lost Legacies. I'll play the planes. I guess it's time. Lost Legacy, our opponent. Do they have negate? Well, we're going for new perspectives first. Hand is sensor shadow to the grave. So what? What do we need to be worried about now? How can we lose? Uh, Sphinx and approach. Okay. Well, let's play Walking Ballista. Opponent sensors. Well, that's fine. Out of their hand. Means we can resolve an Obnix list next turn. If... <clears throat> we probably will just play Obnix list, I assume. We do want to get ri rid of the Sphinx. The approach. Not any real rush. We can even let our opponent resolve it first, and it wouldn't really be a big deal. Cycles, Vizier. Feels like a little mini combo. They can get back the Vizier. Yep, there's a Shadow of the Grave. Gets back a couple cards. 
We get a cast out. Well, one, two, three, four. Let's just Omnixless. See if we can hit our land drop. Draw a card. All right, there's land. That's good. Keep beating down with this 1-1 Walking Ballista. Next turn might be the turn to get rid of the rest of our opponent's win conditions. I don't know why, huh? I think our opponent might be better off actually trying to cast creatures now. Like, Shevet Monitor sounds weird, but it is a 6-5. That's pretty big. I guess it's not good right now with Omnixilis, but at least it makes us take down Omnixilis. I don't know. It's a hard hard position for the new perspective stack. So, opponent gets a land. There's a Weirding Wood. Well, if our opponent didn't like the first <laughs> Lost Legacy, the the next two are gonna, just going to be daggers. I... <laughs> <laughs> Our opponent literally won't have ways to win the game. They're really going to have to start just hard casting chef at monitors and so forth. And with an Omnixilis out, that doesn't seem that doesn't seem realistic. Descend. Well, it can make a 4-4, like we said. Let's uh, draw a card. Scourge. Well, let's just... Yeah, let's log this legacy ourselves. Get our Scourges. So we get one from our hand and three from our graveyard. This means we get to draw a card as well. Swamp is not bad. Oh. Uh, all right. Get in with Walking Ballista. Swamp means we can fire off the second one, too. And I think we just hit Sphinx, even though that's not even relevant. Uh, let's Lost Legacy. I guess we take Approach. Because we have Descend on the, Upon the Sinful now, so opponent's hand is pretty much nothing. And pass the turn. Opponent cycles Vizier. Yep, there's a the Chevet monitor. Opponent, opponent's on the plan. Cycles, adapts. <laughs> they can't even kill that Nixless because we literally couldn't take out all of our bad cards. So we we can still we can still kill their. Their Shevet monitor. Play Evolving Wilds. Uh, yeah, I guess we just do this. Just Bladed Fennet. So get in for one. Crack Evolving Wilds. Get a Swamp. And pass the turn. Opponent. Back to the cycling. Well, now we just get to... Ultimate or Obnixilis. And that should pretty much close out the game. Pretty guaranteed way to win. Also, very good against the cycling deck. This just feels like a miserable matchup for our opponent. And probably a great matchup for us. Uh, Alright, so... Ultimate, Obnixilis. Play Blighted Fen. Get in with our Walking Ballista. And I guess we just cast another big walking ballista. X4. And pass the turn. So, Obnixilis Emblem makes it so it's super hard for our opponent to cycle. Because every time they cycle, they lose to life. And our post scoops it up! Well, our streak of crushing new perspectives, Wombo Combo, continues. Oh, uh, yes. That feels like probably our best matchup in the floor bat. Oh, man. Just so good for us. So sweet. Thanks for watching the video. If you're subscribed, make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications for all the latest videos. It's a great way to support the channel for free. And you can find the next video right here.